Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be planning out Friday, May 20th in my Plum Paper Daily Planner. So this is a disc bound planner um, from Plum Paper. I ordered it unbound and then I disc punched it myself. I really love this particular planner and I feel like I say the same things every single time I plan in my like daily planner but um, I, I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm going to be planning with a sheet that is new to my shop and will actually be coming to the shop on today. Well, it probably should already be live by the time this video goes live because I'm going to sleep in. But um, I'm going to be planning with a new sticker sheet. It's part of a collab. So this sheet of Precious Pandas is part of a collab with a few other sticker shops. Um, everyone is going to be making a different endangered species sticker sheet and they will all be live at the same time on Friday. I, I would like to say it's probably around noon central time. By the time this video is up, everyone's sheet should be up as well. Um, but involved in this collab is um, myself, of course, I've made these pandas. Planet Darby did sea turtles that are beautiful. Um, Whimsical Paper Co. did these really cute little red pandas. Emu's Designs did some fabulous lemurs, and I learned a lot of lemur facts from Em. Um, Create Plans did these really cute little sea otters that hold shells. Eau Claire's Creations did these like fabulous like tigers. Everyone's designs are so cute. They're like, uh, she did like a tiger and then um, planning from A to Z did these whale sharks and like they're so realistic. Um, so everyone has a different endangered species. The sticker sheets are all gonna benefit um, like conservation funds. For my sticker sheet, a dollar of each sheet sold through the end of June will be going to the World Wildlife Fund. I think that's what the acronym, or acronym is. Um, more details will be down below. I'll like include the links and whatnot, but check out these precious pandas in my Etsy shop. Um, and like May 20th is Endangered Species Day, so it is like an effort to raise awareness around endangered species. The stickers in my shop, at least, will be available as both the physical and digital copies in case you're interested in picking them up. Um, so Precious Pandas is the sheet that I'm planning with today. I already started using it on Thursday, so I have half of a sheet left that I'm going to use for this video, but I wanted to show you what they look like in a complete sticker form. And then I paired it with the Sage sticker book to get those green tones. I feel like they match pretty well, like all the different colors of green. They go with the bamboo. I, I did learn while making this project that pandas eat from 10 to 16 hours a day. 99% of what they eat is bamboo, um, but they do eat like other things. Um, but they rely on two different species of bamboo to like, I don't know, to survive, I suppose. Um, they do a lot of eating and they're pretty lazy and I really identify with them. But the pandas, the sage sticker book, and then this according to Allie washi tape to round it all out. I keep coming back to this washi tape. And if you watch more videos on my channel, you're going to see this pop up in like two or three different spreads this week, unfortunately, because I just keep coming back to it. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the planning. So I'm going to start decorating on Friday and then things will get filled out through the course of the video. I grabbed the Thursday sheet just so I could have like it in eyesight and I was like planning things out because I do want to like keep in mind like how long my checklist is going to need to be. Um, do I have a lot of commitments up here uh, that I can't put pandas over? Just that kind of thing. So I put that large stretch of the washi tape and I think that's all I'm going to use on that half because it'll make three distinct strips of it. In the Sage sticker book, I want to pull something that looks similar to the decorative box that I used over there. And I want to get something to mark out like the collab going live, so I should grab a box for that. I'm seeing this kind of green tone. There's a lot of different greens in here, and I have a hard time like naming how they're different, but they are different. So I'm taking this one that's the same color as that strip, and it's going to go up here. That's going to be where I write in that the sticker shop collab is going to be happening. And then I need another box, maybe. On Thursday, I used little page flags to like note things out. So I probably should have done the same thing on Friday to keep things consistent. But the events on Friday are a lot bigger than the events on Thursday. And then I have a podcast recording in the evening. Maybe I could work in a little page flag at some point um, just to keep things like 
consistent. But the one big box is on the page for the sticker shop collab, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna take the other panda that I have on this sticker sheet to go on Friday. So this one's pretty big. It's gonna go maybe there. I'm just worried that I'm not seeing enough of the like gold foiled washi tape. Maybe that's what I need is it to be a little bit more subdued. So this panda is gonna go over here. There are two pandas on the sticker sheet, three stalks of bamboo, and then some miscellaneous like design elements. The pandas are pretty big and I couldn't get them to fit onto the sticker sheet. Um, like I couldn't get three of them to fit onto the sticker sheet which I wish I was able to get some more on there, but just because of the way they're like shaped and the way that they're sized, it just wasn't possible. They're giant pandas, like the species is giant pandas. So I wanted them to be a little bit larger, um, hence the two pandas. And plus they're endangered. Why would I have like a million pandas when they're endangered? You only get two of them. Um, so that's what I did with the pandas. I, I feel like they're large enough that they make an impact that you don't really need like a whole lot of them to make a spread like looking at this um, I think just the two pandas really ties it back to the fact that this is a panda themed spread I'm taking some little polka dots and just scattering around there's also this like geometric um, like line element that I could like move in here I just don't know if it's right for this particular spread but I think they could be fun for like layering elements or what I kind of imagined doing with them was like taking one of them and doing like a little like um piece of tape you know kind of thing across the top of boxes so i have these that i'll save for a different spread when i use my other sheet of pandas i'm gonna take one of these stickers that says big plans to mark off the shop collab just to kind of balance that out i like how it connects over the polka dots and then for the podcast recording that I have at night, we're going to get another episode of Professionally Planned recorded, um, and it'll go live the following Friday. So I need to show up to that, of course. I'm just looking for the little page flags. I'll take one of these, and I keep like saying, oh, sage green, but they're all sage green. That's how they get you. Um, so this one's going to go down here to mark the podcast recording, and then... I think I might have talked about having lunch with a friend tomorrow. I can't remember if I did or not. So I'm just going to preemptively put another page flag in place. And I'll leave it blank when I fill this in. But this is going to be the page flag for like the miscellaneous task that I have to do at some point on Friday. And like obviously this section will get my priorities for the day. So it doesn't need to be like a to-do list task. It'll just be whatever I'm doing in between going or putting the stickers live and then recording the podcast. I'd like to balance out that uh, strip of the green up top on Thursday. So I'm going to take a slightly longer one that says, do what makes your soul shine. And maybe what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is working on some sticker designs for June. I'm very excited with what I'm already working on. I have a few sketches in the works and I cannot wait to share with all of you. So this is just going to be the one sheet releasing on Friday, and then my June release is going to happen on Monday, June 6th. I don't have a time yet, but it will be announced eventually when we get a little bit closer. So as far as decoration goes, I think this is a good jumping off place. I'm taking my Papermate flare pen in a medium point, and I'm going to start by prioritizing the top three things I'd like to get done tomorrow. Um, so the first thing that's on my to-do list is the Etsy listing for the shop collab. I have not done that yet, so that needs to get done before the stickers are released. Next up on the priority list is getting Etsy orders shipped out at the post office. Um, I am trying to catch up after all the finals week like stress had taken the like foreground. So now I got to get Etsy orders packed. So I think post office will probably get put on this list, but the top priority is packing orders because I want to get them like pulled together. Um, they need to get pulled together before I can like mail them out. I had the goal of packing 10 of them yesterday or today rather, and I think I got seven done. So Friday's goal is also going to get 10 packed and if I can get 10 packed on Friday, that should put me at a very good place with like catching up on things. And I want to get everything out the door before 
I release new stickers. I feel like guilty having things from the last release when there's new releases coming. So pack 10 Etsy orders is going to be the next thing. And then the final task, I'd like to clear out my locker over in our graduate student um, office because we're getting some renovations done this summer, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and I've been told that they're taking out the lockers and replacing them with something else. So I need to get my stuff out of there. Next, I'm going to fill in the details of the shop collab. This is the section that I typically use for my schedule. So we've got priorities, we've got schedule. This is going to be more of the schedule, like continued. One of them I'm not going to fill in, and then the other one is going to be um, the podcast recording. So I'm going to get that written out. We've been a little wishy-washy on the time, so I'm pretty sure it's noon central time, but I won't post this video until I know things are live. That way, if you watch the video, you can like immediately go and like check out the stickers rather than like me posting this and like, wait, when are they going live? I thought she said noon, they're not actually live. Um, so I'll wait until the stickers are live to post this video. I've been posting so much about pandas this week. I think I've posted like four things about pandas. <laughs> At this point, I'm like all pandaed out. This is, I think this is gonna be the end of the panda posts. Um, and then I gotta fill in the podcast recording. I'm very excited to catch up with M. We didn't get a chance to talk um, like last week or the week before just because I've been so busy and she's been so busy and then she lost power in a storm or she was going to lose power. People around her were losing power. So we were like, we're going to take it off week. We're just going to settle. And then when the school year is done, we will reconvene and we will podcast. Now I'm going to move over to my to-do list area and anything that didn't get checked off over here. So like cleaning the bathtub, you know, <laughs> stuff that I push off till the very last minute is going to get transferred. Things that have a little arrow are going to get transferred. Um, those were things that I like was not able to do on Thursday. Like I was not going to be able to go to campus by the time that it became like free time. So that got bumped. Laundry, I bumped it because I wanted to film videos and I didn't want the background noise. You know the drill. So I'm going to move the things that didn't get touched and the things that like got migrated over to the next thing. And even the things that got touched but didn't get finished, like putting away all the sticker books, those will get migrated as well. All of the tasks have been transferred. Film daily plan with me can get checked off because we're in the midst of that. And I didn't want to move it over because that felt a little too meta. Um, so I've got the list transferred and now I'm going to go back into this and fill it in with the additional tasks that I need to do. So I filmed some more videos that need to get edited. I gotta make a YouTube thumbnail for this particular video. Um, I think I wanna like write post office on this list, etc. I'm gonna have to like kind of swerve around the panda's body, but it shouldn't be too hard. There's enough room in this like space to write things out. So next step is just writing more things on the to-do list. The list is all filled in and I kind of like indented them so that I could put them all in the same line because the next step that I do is make the bullet points a little bit more obvious using this mild liner. I'm taking just a regular gray mild liner and I flipped it upside down so that way my hand doesn't rub over the top of the ink while it's still drying. Um, so this I put on first so it should be theoretically like a hundred percent dry at this point. This I, I put on last so it might not be completely dry but if I hold my hand this way, I think I'll be in the clear. And I like to put the little bullet points in here because sometimes I'll do tasks that like have a lot of writing involved and they take up two lines and then I don't need to check it off twice. And I just think this looks good. It's also just very satisfying to me to like make the bullet points. Yes, they're on the pages, but now I've made my own and I can color coordinate them too, even though I'm just doing gray. I think the gray works really well with like all the sage. It's a little bit of a green undertone in this gray, maybe. I don't know, it looks good. So we've got the to-do list done up there. This is gonna get filled in with whatever um, like comes up. I don't know when it's gonna come up, but I gotta talk to some people. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do tomorrow. The grade submission is due by 2 p.m. Um, to the university. I already have mine in the system like plugged in, but I just want to confirm that my grades go through um, so that my students can have their like transcripts done in time. I always love it when I remember what I was thinking of last minute to save the spread. And if I have lunch plans, then I can add in another page flag. But for now, I think that's looking good. Um, very quick plan with me, but that's how the daily works. It's supposed to be quick and just kind of reorganize my mind before the day starts. I'm going to pop these back on the disks. 
Okay, here it is all finished up. I love the pandas and I promise I'll stop the panda promotion after this video, but they're cute and I think they work really well with the green tones, especially with all this bamboo. Um, so I'm happy with the way this spread turned out. Maybe they'll make it to like a different planner spread in the future, but I think I need a little bit of a break from the panda planning now. Um, I did a daily reel. I did this video, I had a spoiler post or whatever, and then there was like a sneak peek, and then there's gonna be the actual announcement. Oh, I think I'm gonna have five panda posts. So many pandas, so little time. Um, but there you have it, here's today's daily. Um, I love the Plum Paper Planner, um, and I'm just gonna keep making these throughout the summer. I think it's fun to like see how people decorate like different layouts, and I do like the dailies because they're quick and simple and easy. Um, and what I've heard from you all in the comments is that you like seeing me like do the actual writing portion of this, like how I actually plan in the planner. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that unless you have objections to that. Um, I'm always interested to hear what you think I should be doing with my videos or like suggestions, constructive criticism, maybe not like mean criticism, but if we if we keep things constructive, I will definitely hear you out. Um, so there is my daily for Friday the 20th and the pandas have made it to the planner. If you like this video hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning!